I made a free script for After Effects that allows you to truly separate any dimensions, not just the position property, and I'll show you what I mean. You're probably already aware that the position property in After Effects comes in as an array, either of 2D X and Y values or 3D X, Y, and Z values. You can separate these dimensions by right-clicking on the property and saying separate dimensions, which is useful for modifying these properties with the value graph in the graph editor. You can only use a speed graph with that array value. And it's also just a way of working that a lot of motion designers are appreciate with separated properties for those individual dimensions. Unfortunately, we cannot separate other array values for some reason. If I right click on scale, separate dimensions is grayed out. Same thing for anchor point or even the size controls for this box. If I go into the rectangle path, I can't separate any other type of array value unless I use separate any dimensions, which is right over here. This is the dockable UI version of it. It's just a single button. All you have to do is grab the property you wanna separate, click the button and it instantly creates expression controllers in the effect controls that allows you to now modify those two values or three values, however many are in the array with expression controllers. So if I go back to the beginning, I can set some keyframes on these new effect controls and press U to bring up the keyframes. We'll go maybe 20 frames forward and increase this up to 600 by 600 and then 20 more frames forward to copy and paste so we have a nice loop. I'll easy ease this and go into my graph editor. You'll notice this is the value graph, so I don't have to use the speed graph. Modify these curves to be a little bit more strong of an ease, and now I've got that sizing up and down. But those keyframes are perfectly aligned, so there's no difference between this and combined dimensions until I separate these a little bit or stagger the keyframes maybe by 10 frames, and now we've got these two values working together with independent easing. And if I add one of my most used expressions by Alt or Option clicking on the stopwatch for this property, and I say loop in plus loop out, minus value, then it's gonna loop that animation forever and I can copy that expression, if I go expression only, paste it onto this slider, and I'll show you what that looks like by enabling the post expression graph. Now those keyframes are going to be looped in either direction. I can move this around wherever I want and it's gonna to continue to loop based on where I leave those keyframes. Now if I play this back, we'll see that those two size changes are independent with custom easing and I can do whatever I want with those keyframes. So maybe I wanna change these keyframes to be more strongly easing into the keyframes and less out. And then on this one, I could do the opposite. Maybe we go more strongly out and not as strong in, and that gives us a very unique look, and it's something that we could not do if those values were still combined. And this works for any array value, even color. If I bring up the color of this box, let's go into the stroke, and I grab that color and click on separate any dimensions, it's going to give me RGB sliders to control that color. Not something that I've ever needed or wanted to do, but the script takes care of it for you. You can install it as a script UI panel like I have right here, but if you don't want it taking up so much UI space, you could also use it with a tool like Code Runner, which is another free script that I've created that allows you to create buttons to launch scripts, apply expressions, or presets. And I've created a separate any dimensions button. So just like before, if I bring up, say, the scale and click on that, I'll separate those dimensions, and now I can scale this in either direction. This also works with tools like KBar or MoBar, or you could even just run it from the file file scripts menu. Just make sure that if you want it as a dockable panel, you install it in the script UIs panel folder for the version of After Effects that you're using, and there are installation instructions on the product page. You can find that download link in the description, and while you're on my website, make sure you also browse my other free tools as well as paid courses if you're interested in becoming a better motion designer. And if you have any feedback on Separate Any Dimensions, feature requests, or bugs, let me know down in the comments, and I'll see what I can do about them. That's it for Separate Any Dimensions. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you have have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one.